The Civil Nuclear Constabulary is part of the British Police Service and has a unique function in the UK. Here to safeguard and protect the country's nuclear industry, nuclear assets and nuclear power capability. We deter and defend, deny and recover, performing a vital role at 14 sites. Providing protection during transportation by road or sea, ensuring these hazardous assets are safely moved. More than 1,200 officers always carrying firearms, highly trained, highly skilled and operating at the peak of their physical capability. And now, in times of crisis, with the threat level for terrorism in the UK set to severe, we are equipped and prepared. We are here for the government to deploy as part of the surge force and security system, providing immediate armed intervention. Our officers police Britain's nuclear sites, so we're fully armed every day. Our kit weighs 30 kilos. There's a demanding shift pattern, so the specialist training is carried out to the highest statutory standards, which is licensed by the College of Policing, and rigorous and regular tests ensure we're up to the job. But if we fail that testing, we have to go. There's no redeployment if we're not fit enough to do the job. No desk duties or alternative frontline. It could well lead to dismissal. So is this something for the over 60s? Let's pause and paint that policing picture. Think about its impact on public confidence. Officers at 65 or 68 still carrying heavy firearms, still on the move, still covering remote sites, still being called into action in a terrorist attack. Is this what the public want? We're in danger of slipping through the bureaucratic net, being considered like other public servants and not being treated the same as other police officers. Make this fundamental decision on when we retire, not on a number, but on a realistic, fair assessment of the job. 60 is old enough. The legislation needs to be changed.